hello welcome once again to my channel in this video i will show you how i cook two easiest nigerian soup watch to the end and tell me which of this soup you think is very easy and popular and which one would you like to prepare keep watching don't go away because i will not be giving you the names of the soup to the end all right let's dive into it everyone so first i'll place my pot on fire then transfer my salted meat dry fish stock fish then add freshly chopped onions seasoning to taste then black chili pepper which is optional and some salt then i'll be adding water because the assorted is already cooked so I'll just add a bit of water to season it. It's cooked but not properly cooked and I'll allow that to simmer on medium flame for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, I'll go ahead and use my tannin stick to stir to combine. Then after that, I'll add the quantity of water I want to use for the soup add yours according to the quantity of soup you're making then i'll go ahead and add crayfish that is blended from all right everyone welcome all to my channel and if this is your first time you are highly welcome so on a clean pot i'll add oil palm oil after the pot gets hot and once the oil gets hot i go ahead and add my ingredients <laughs> i will say the name to the end so keep watching to know exactly what soup is this this is number one soup and it's very easy delicious and fat is one of the popular soup in nigeria most popular one of the most popular soup so i'm going to stay this ingredient i'm mixing up with this palm oil in a very low flame because you don't need to fry it so just doing this to melt the lumps so that you won't have any lumps while eating your soup and your soup can go down smoothly with your swallow so while that is done i'll come back to check the soup water to see how it's doing you know in Igbo land we say cook soup water so it, it's done that is get mineral fee yay or foma so you can test the soup so that the soup can taste delicious so at this point i'll be adding up the mixed ingredient that i stay fried earlier so i'll just be adding it bit by bit and mix the combine so at this point i can believe i believe you can tell what soup is this so this is all bonus soup Obono soup is a very delicious soup and very easy to make. Anyone can cook it and it goes very well. Obono soup can make you eat and eat, 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 eat until you are overfilled. So at this point, I'll be adding my leaf. I'm using Oziza leaf. Have you tried those um, Obono soup with Oziza leaf? Man, it's so bad. Give it a try and give me your comment at the comment section down below, everyone. So after adding my leaf, I just uh, mix the combine for two seconds and it is ready. This soup is very yummy. It's one of Nigerian easiest and most delicious and popular soup you can think of. Give me your comment at the comment section. Let me know what you say about this. So the next one for the next soup. I will add more ready wash fresh goat meat, then stuff fish and fish, then go in with my snail. They are already prepared. If you want to know how all of this is prepared, I will leave some links down below on my soups, mother soup recipes where I took time to wash all of this. Hello, if you've watched my video up to this point, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and share my video to your friends and families and stay connected because more videos are updated every week on this very channel and don't forget to support this channel by watching the ads all right so in this video i'm showing you two easiest nigerian soup and popular soup i've done videos like this twice part one part two so this is part three 
So after I allow my goat meat to simmer for 10 minutes, I will go ahead and use a turning stick to flip it to the other side. You'll notice I didn't add any water because I allow it to moisture. Doing this makes the season get into your meat and it will be very tasty. So after I allow it to simmer once again, after flipping it, I'll be adding more water to it to allow it to cook properly. Just add your water according to the quantity of meat you are cooking and I will cover it to boil on a medium flame for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, I'm going to grill. The goat meat will be grilled. So I um, will transfer the goat meat into my grilling plate and then I will grill it behind the camera. It will be grilled behind the camera but i'm going to be setting it just for 30 minutes i do not want to over grill it just give it a big a bit of it to give it another test in your soup is very yummy so while that is aside on a clean pot after it dries i add my palm oil and when it gets hot i add freshly chopped onions and stir for a second and then i'll add my locust beans you could use the fresh one but i use the blended locust beans and also add some crayfish doing this gives your soup a very nice in fact a different flavor and different aroma so i love to do this before any other thing fry my um, crayfish then after that i add my freshly blended tomato paste and continue to mix combine hello all my genuine subscriber thanks so much for your wonderful support i really appreciate it and if you're new please consider subscribing to enjoy more recipes more yummy recipes here in this channel i update recipes different recipes so consider subscribing and thumbs up the bell for a lot all right so i'm still stirring the fresh tomato paste i'll stir it till it dries to the taste that i want so at this point i'll be adding the blended egg so our second soup our second easy and um, popular nigerian soup is a goosey let me know at the comment section whether this is true or not if a goosey soup is popular and easy to make if a bono soup is popular is nigerian popular soup and easy to make so at this point i'm just adding the chicken i mean the goat meat stack and i will mix the combine and then cover it on a low flame for um 10 minutes a medium flame and after that i will go on to thaw the reason i'm stirring it so that it does not burn and i believe you don't like the taste of a burnt soup so after that i will be adding the quantity of water i want for my soup and then i will go ahead and add the fish and cover it to cook on a medium flame so let me know at the comment section what you think. Is a goosey soup popular? Is it Nigerian popular soup? <laughs> let me know at the comment section down below. Please don't forget. And let me know what you think about how it is being prepared. So at this point as well, I added the stock fish. I take this off earlier so it does not scatter. So at this point, I'll add it and cover the soup and allow it to heat for two minutes. And after two minutes, I will add the goat meat, already grilled goat meat. This soup is super yummy. If you've not tried making your egg soup with grilled beef, goat meat, chicken, whatever meat you are using, give it a try. You will understand how delicious it comes out. It comes out, yeah. So after adding my grilled goat meat, I'll go ahead and stir to combine and then I'll cover it to cook for another five minutes. And after that, I'll be adding the bitter leaf. I'm using bitter leaf you could use any other leaf on in this very video i'm using bitter leaf 
and it's messy yummy so our egusu soup is ready after adding the leaf you just mix the combine combine and the soup is ready this two soup can be eaten with any swallow of your choice and a goosey soup can be eaten with rice some people love to eat it with rice and it's delicious so this is the two easiest and popular nigerian soup in this video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up stay connected i'll see you in the next video and bye for now